Let's imagine that you are interested in quorum sensing, a concept where researchers have shown that microorganisms also work in concerted fashion. Um, so you join a lab which works in the area of quorum sensing and they are using uh, a bacteria Myxococcus xanthus as model organism to study this phenomenon. Now let's imagine that you want to express a certain gene in Myxococcus xanthus so obviously you're, you would look for an expression vector which works uh, in this bacteria, Myxococcus xanthus. And let's imagine that you bump into this paper uh, which is in Applied and Environmental Microbiology and it says that authors created comprehensive set of integrative plasmid uh, which uh, have copper inducible gene expression uh, for Myxococcus xanthus and this is what you're looking for. So you dive straight into um, the materials and methods section uh, where uh, they must have written how exactly they created these plasmids. And here it is construction of series of plasmid vectors. <clears throat> Just by a cursory glance you can see that the vector uh, is derived from PUC19 and it has a QOA promoter which is copper inducible promoter and a final vector is called as PNG10A so basically you are interested in getting the entire sequence of PNG10A and open it in your serial cloner uh, software so you open the NCBI website and you go to the nucleotide section and type in PNG10A most likely the vectors of the authors of this paper must have deposited the sequence and here you go this is the cloning vector PNG10A complete sequence and uh, these are our authors who published the paper This is for gene expression, copper inducible gene expression in Myxococcus xanthus. Here you go. So this is what you are looking for. And this is the entire sequence of your of the plasmid. So basically you want the entire sequence uh, in your software so that then you can manipulate and design your cloning strategies. So on the top right corner go to the drop down, drop down menu of send and then choose the file which can be in the format of genbank, fasta, xml etc <clears throat> so I'll choose genbank file hit create file that will download the genbank it's a .gb file <clears throat> so just double click over it since you already have the downloaded serial cloner program file will open in the environment it says a, a, an NCBI formatted sequence has been imported so just hit ok and there you go the small box says this is the sequence name size DNA circular etc you can hit the graphic map and there you go you have the entire plasmid graphic uh, you can see that it has a QOA promoter from 7 to 973 base pair here it is at the end of it you have a small multiple cloning site and in the text pane you can see the highlighted sequence similarly it also has a tetracycline resistance gene here it is and if you click on it it will highlight uh, the, the gene in the graphic map as well as in the text pane it starts with ATG which is the start codon and these are the features it is optimized for expression it has a QA promoter multiple cloning site tetracycline resistance gene etc so now you would like to save this sequence so that you can use it in future 
so just hit save file then save as and just put uh, the name you would like let's say png 10a and save it you can also export it in different formats so go to file and say export export as faster or as genbank and then you know once you export the file in genbank format or faster format you can always send it as an attachment to your email or you can just share share it with your friends